Welcome to Zercatec, the hub of heat protection. Today we're going to be finding out what F1 car parts have to go through before they even end up on the F1 car itself. We're going to be picking apart, putting it through the process. We're going to be blasting it with 10,000 degrees. Let's go. So you join us here in the workshop of dreams. We now have to choose the part to put through the Zercatec process. There's a lot of pipes, a lot of things I have no idea where they'd go on a car, but we, let's, let's choose this one. Oh, that's heavier than expected. Exhaust manifold. We're gonna name him Eric, and we're gonna put him through his paces right now. Stage one, masking, protecting Eric. Stage one, Eric is currently undergoing surgical examination, or as they call it at Zercatec, masking. In a nutshell, we're putting clothes on the parts of Eric that don't want to get burnt. Sun cream, if you will. The green tape you can see being applied is in fact extremely expensive and can withstand the entire process without degrading or needing to be replaced, and it's only 0.2 millimetres thick. It's important to protect the correct areas because if you damage a carbon fibre piece or an exhaust, it's pretty much game over and you'll have an extremely disgruntled F1 team on the phone. Stage 1.5 Inspection. After Eric has been masked up, he is then signed off by a chief inspector to make sure that sun cream has been applied to all the correct areas before moving on to the next stage. Something that I really should learn before going out in the sun. Stage 2. Grip Blasting. Making Eric smooth. Surface preparation comes next to ensure that Eric is smooth and ready for coating. The reason grip blasting is necessary is to remove rust, paint and any other debris. This is to ensure the coating is applied consistently otherwise Eric will not be completely protected. And no one wants that. The process works like this. Eric is brought into a dark room which is to help visibility for grip blasting, manhandled through the use of gloves, held steady and then sprayed with a hand tool. The poor guy goes through a lot in stage 2 just to have smooth legs. Whatever happened to Gillette? So Eric has just gone through stage two. I've acquired some surgical gloves, nice. Uh, he's about to go through stage three. He's had the grip blaster. He's about to go into the room just behind you, which is the Flame Blaster 10,000. It's gonna get very, very hot, very quickly. Sorry, Eric. Stage three. This is where things get pretty hot. The process here is split up into two parts. The first part is reasonably quick and not as painful for Eric, where a bond coat is applied to provide a metallic based layer to assure adhesion between the ceramic and Eric. Did you get that? I was serious for all of like seven seconds. Impressive. The second part is the plasma spray process developed within the nuclear industry, where you'll see Eric change colour from grey to white as the ceramic is applied. There's some pretty cool science behind this too. The ceramic is introduced into the plasma jet as a powder, where the temperature is over 10,000 degrees C. As you can imagine, the powder is then entirely melted and propelled towards Eric. There the molten droplets flatten and rapidly solidify. It's basically welded to Eric. You could say he becomes some kind of heat resistant superhero as the special motorsport coating is able to withstand up to 1400 degrees Celsius. Stage 4 Polishing Making Eric look sexy The final process is all done by hand, removing the masking with a scalpel, cleaning and polishing Eric, ready to be sent out into the big bad world. He may be nervous, he may not want the adventure just yet, but little does he know the power within his own flesh and bones. With great heat resistance comes not melting. So Eric here has gone through masking, grit blasting, a fire blaster 10,000, and finally the polishing and cleaning process, ready to go onto a car. So what's left for me to say than thanking Zerkatech for having us today. And if you want to watch another video, click just here. If you want to subscribe, click over here. And if you want to go to our WTF1 shop, buy some sick merch, click here. I'm Matt with WTF1. I'm taking Eric home with me to fit on my car circle. <laughs> Who am I joking? Bye. They're probably like, who's Eric? <laughs>